Just let me know when your guys' uh, audio is included. My audio is green. Mine's also green. Let me go here. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and introduce yourselves and name, rank, and unit. Good evening, Milson community. This is Captain Crow, 5th Marine Regiment. Kilo Company Commanding Officer. Third Battalion Commanding Officer, Regimental Commanding Officer, 5th Moon Regiment, Regimental Combat Team 5. Uh, next. South Sergeant Dev, 1st Platoon, Kilo Company, 3rd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment. And the last person. Foreign Officer Shino Kishin, Voice Commander of CMAG 130. All right, gents. Uh, like I'd say, to everyone, thank you for taking time and talk, joining us on the stream again. Actually, Crow, um, Crow, I thought I'm not mistaken. This is about the maybe what was it third, fourth time you've been on the stream. Crow. Uh, the last one with Chase was really fucking cringy, and I wanted to blow my brains out because he's really cringy. But yeah, it was, it was good. Wow. Uh, with Twitch being Twitch, Twitch, they don't keep, um, they don't archive stuff for long, so it's like the longest I've seen something in archive is about a week, maybe two weeks. So that's what, um, so YouTube channel is made because. Transfer the videos was, over there. Yeah, we download it and upload it to YouTube. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, tell us about five and more, man. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Wait. Well, you gotta be more specific about that. You just want, you know, general details of five, about five and more, what's going on, you know. Uh, let's do all. We'll get into uh, How about this? You ask me some questions, I'll answer them, and then after a few questions, <laughs> I'll give you a rundown of what's going on with us. Alright. What are your current thoughts on the uh, Battlefield 4 Milson community? Um, I think it's good. You know, it's definitely very active, despite the fact of it being a four year old game at this point, and Milson have gone on for. Well, all very long time on this platform. Uh, it's very lively. You know, in the MCS chat alone, there's like 60, I think maybe 70 teams in there and one team per rep. Or my bad, one, how one rep per team. Apologies, that came out backwards. And that says something that's 70 odd teams that are in the MCS chat plus the fucking. 10 to 15 that may may or may or may not like be included in the main community like RM and a few of the other low key teams you know what I mean they don't really come into the community it's a massive community right now it's the largest it's ever been you know what I mean so that says something I think it's going good I think there's a lot of new teams that could use uh, experience of the senior ones and should really take their advice 5MR specifically, we've kind of located a, a little corner of the community. It's about four or five smaller teams we're helping out, giving experience to, and help grow. So it's going good. It's going good. I think that it could be, it uh, needs a crusade. It needs to be cleared of some cancer going on. But other than that, it's going GG. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure you got a few things to say about this next question, but uh, what are the thoughts on the Battlefield 1 side? Out of one, I think, I think it's a good game. It's got good potential, but the community is being corrupted. I'm sure everyone in the community has some knowledge of what went on in the MCS or nothing. The tracer affairs, when one of our tried doing tracer, so apply that to Battlefield One community. And that's the current situation. Uh, most teams have died. The 123rd, and as you know, you're in the. You're in the BF1 news chat. You've seen the screenshots of their quote unquote professionalism and how, you know, they teeth the horn, how they're so much more professional, mature, and drama free over there. And then you've seen the way, you know, you've seen the screenshots of how Kaiser conducts himself, and it's just clearly not true. 
because he I can send you a screenshot. I think I didn't post them in the the news chat. If not, I will of him literally like yeah, gloating we've, like we've seen the who, albums. my war list. You know who am I killing? Who am I eating? Who am I absorbing? You know, and he literally called out like he was absorbing his own allies. And it was like really. So honestly, I see a loco v two over there, and I see that team crumbling quite quickly. I talked to uh, Deke about this when uh, Remus sent us the things that Jew was saying to him and from what Deke and I agree on it just seems like banter between two parties based on the history uh, yeah. between them yeah and like 5MR, 17th RB um, you know a few of the teams like we're split off from that main community chat like we have like 15 RS they have like 28 or something in theirs but we are more or less split off from it and we don't have nothing to do with either side and mainly because of fucking Jew being a toddler you know what I mean oh, like it's just not pretty and it's 15. not 15 it's not a good image for the BF1 community you know in its infancy and you know any movement in its infancy needs a strong leader or it's gonna die you know right or wrong All right. and Jew simply is not that strong leader he I, you know, he invited me to the other party the other day just to talk shit to me. Seriously, just to talk shit and roast me. You know, it was pathetic. So, yeah. It's my thoughts on the BF1 community. It's got it's got promising hopes, but it needs to be cleared out. It needs to be led by a good figure. All right, righteous. Now, I know you said before that five more is, when it comes to BF1, it's a more of expeditionary force into the game. Mm -hmm. or is there a solid plan in the future of moving 5MR into BF1 because granted if we are good on history 5MR uh, 5th Marine Regiment uh, real life one was actually in World War One. yep so is there any plans well, in the future the plan coming? is is we want to see how the BF4 community goes over this next year you know um, test it out, grow, see how Battlefield 1 comes, because the whole reason we haven't fully came over to Battlefield 1 is the lack of kill-based servers, like pub games, like it, servers, private servers are pub games. Literally, they're, they're pub games, you know what I mean? And I can't do milsome on a pub game, like the most milsome game mode would be Rush or Operation. It's neat, like only a Rush is available on Unranked, you know, so it needs a lot of tweaking. I want to see, you know, where the year takes and whatnot, and, you know, go from there. Because Battlefield 4 has a lot of life in it still, you know, and Battlefield 1 has a lot of tweaking, and I'd prefer not to go over to a team, or not a team, like a, a, a game, where it's Battlefield 4, like, and it's in its permanent, like, in its baby steps. Like, Battlefield 4 Milsim, and it's baby steps, which is so cancerous. I don't want to see that over there, because I'm already seeing it, you know what I mean? I try and do my good in my little section of the community, you know, the minimal standards for teams coming over and whatnot, but 5MR doesn't have a definitive presence until they fix like that that main thing. Oh, oh shit, I have my mic on mute oh, for some reason. <laughs> but, uh, are Hello. there any problems in the middle security that you would like to see fixed? Or, yeah, would you like to see yeah. fixed? It seems the community has really forgotten, like, the maturity and professionalism and representation of the military that they do, and they treat it like it's clan warfare. You know what I mean? Like, it's clans, like. It's just that's what it feels like. It feels like really competitive clans these days, like with military names, like back in the back in the beginning, right when Muslim first started on Battlefield 4, and even on Battlefield 3 and the BF, you know, or, or in the order than me. I went to Muslim for about four or five years. This is before my time as a Muslim. You know, it was Sims, it was Ops, it was simulations. That's what it was simulation oriented. It wasn't your win loss at all. By Mar, we have win loss, yes. We, do, we keep track of that, but it doesn't mean everything to us. It's a morale thing. You know, it's a recruitment tool. Hey, we've honorably lost uh, eight times in our career of like a year and three months. 
and we've had 70 odd victories in legitimate Wilson matches. You know, that says a lot. And we can legit, like, everyone, if you go with people can like, well, we've lost, up. yeah, we have lost. But you're only going to find about eight cases where we've lost in a legitimate Wilson match. Period. And we'll prove it. I don't have to prove it. You're the one that says I lost. Prove it to me that I lost. I know where I lost, you know? Um, but it doesn't matter. 5MR, I'm working on a Operation Iraqi Freedom Sim. So as you know, 5MR was actually one of the first units that went into Iraq in the initial invasion. They were some of the first people in Baghdad, you know? So we want to do some of the sims. So like a series of sims, if you will. Uh, a war theater is what I like to call it. it starts off the, you know, the initial invasion after that storming Baghdad, the bombing, everything from the initial invasion up to, you know, the end of the the first month of the war, because the first month of the war was the only part of the war that had conventional warfare. And after that, do some ops and sims that, like, kind of go through the timeline of our presence from when we were in the field over there, doing our job, from when we invaded until we fully dismounted in 2011, do, you know, sims based off of that. And honestly, all in all, it should take about a month to complete all of these sims, and it'd be something really cool that would bring the community together, because it'll be large-scale events. Most of the community needs to come back to. They need to learn fucking leadership traits, they need to learn how to be professional out of the military, and they need to stop caring so much about their dicks. So. Sessor so from Dev, you know, what do you think? Sounds good. Uh, shit. Uh, Steph, are you on deck? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you think? About the well, topic at hand? What was the main question? Uh, the question I asked was Are there any problems you see in the Milson community that could be fixed? <laughs> I mean, a lot of it can be fixed. A lot of it is um, a lot of teams that come in and uh, they don't necessarily represent what Milsim could have been or what it's supposed to be. Um, a lot of them is just a lot of complaining and then once they complain and they start calling out other teams and those teams want to fight them, nothing happens. <laughs> and then um, you have the other teams who sit here and they want to get stuff done within their team and then when people talk shit about them, they just, you know, that's when they want to go on the problem. Like I said, no one wants to fight anymore, it seems like. And um, a lot of the teams that want to fight don't want to fight if there's a bigger team, quote-unquote, bigger team involved. So. Or they don't have the spawn trap immediately. Exactly. Okay. Which kills me. It's 5MR, we went for the spawn trap a few times. And mainly, we set up a phase line outside of the spawn so where it's not really like outside of the spawn, but it's like mid map, you know. So where they still have terrain, they still have fucking a place to fight, and we're not shooting them at you know as soon as they spawn. It makes it funner, you know. It gives them a chance. Whereas spawn traps, people seem to thrive off those in this community. I don't understand it. Um, I can give you an example: is Loco. I don't think Loco can fight unless he's you know fighting you in a spawn trap. Because uh, multiple times, I think I've even told him before on Twitch during the last one of the chase. That if you want to fight 5MR on a war server, you can go to our war server. You know, you'll be removed from a training server. There's very we have multiple servers, and each has their own design purpose. You know, I'm not gonna let some guy come and fuck up our training server. Period. There's a war server, and at, to be completely honest, it's not that hard. You know, am I right? Like, hey, we have multiple servers. This is the war server. But people still go out of their way to attack other servers. For example, I've had Loco twice now come into one of my, my training servers. Right, he, he waits about 30 minutes, so he's in the strong spawn trap, all set up and everything. And he contacts me like, hey man, I'm here. And I'm like, okay, what server are you in? And he'll fucking tell me some booty ass shit. Like, oh, well, I'm in you know, the tank battalion server. I'm in San Mateo. And I'm like, that's not my war server. And he's been told countless times. That's something. All right. Is Five of Mar in any wars or conflicts at the moment? Mm, no, not any at all. Like we help out uh, our allies, we help out our friends. We've been sticking our noses into these little wars, getting our men some experience, you know, getting our name out there, helping people out.
God damn, why do I keep muting my mic? I don't know. But, <laughs> in your honest opinion, who do you think makes the most trouble in the Milson community? The most trouble in the community, huh? You can speak your mind, man. Just... That's that's such an interesting topic, man. Alright, you got a <laughs> minute here. Holy shit. <laughs> Staff Sergeant, you give your opinion. I gotta think on that. <laughs> oh, they went right off the bat, Loco, man. <laughs> One man, always trying to butt heads with Five Amar no matter what we do. So, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna say Loco as the top one. Yeah, no, I've noticed that. Anything we do, he tends to suddenly hop on in and in interest in and whatnot. Like, in a few times, I'll just randomly join a server, see what's going on in the engagement, and then, like, 2.5 seconds later, I'll see him join, and I'm like, that's interesting. And it'll be just me, you know, in there watching, maybe I'll have a few kills, just watching, talking to the people, see what's going on, and I'll leave not long after, you know. For, quite a few teams can attest to me doing this. They've seen me do it themselves. It's simple. And then, Loco joins. So, one time, actually, I, uh, I joined a server. I think it was one of the like, six of our battles before we actually got more fully involved. And I joined, it was just me, and he messaged me, he's like, gone so soon, because I left, I guess right as he's joining, and he's like, took all your men with you? What do you mean? There's only me in there. So, uh, 5ID was on deck in that server, and I guess they mistook 5MR for 5ID. But I have to agree, Loco causes quite a bit of trouble in this community. Alright. What's the next question? Um, what exactly do you think causes the most trouble and uh, most problems within the Milson community? Like, what like a specific exactly topic? Are, uh, sure, let's go with that. Like, what do you think would cause is the most problematic um, thing in the Milson community? Honestly, mm, you'd have to clarify more on that question. Do you mean like what causes the most issues in the community? What like is a pre prevalent problem in the community? I'm confused. What causes the most issues? People being mm. thin-skinned. Yeah, yeah, no, people being liberal cucks. Most definitely. Everyone can talk shit, but the minute it's like directed at them, they're like, no, you're hurting my feelings, you have no bearing, you have no professionalism, and I'm just like, well, what? It's like, get triggered. I don't understand it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> ah, shit, what the fuck? Yeah, there we go. Uh, what do you wish to see change in the Nelson community? Attitudes. People really need to start learning what leadership means in this community. You know, I've had and people say, "Well, you did this, you did this." Girl. I'm like, I know I have, and I learned from my mistakes. You know, only a shitty leader doesn't know when they fuck up. They don't acknowledge when they fuck up, and in the end, they look dumb. They let their men down, and ultimately, they let the community down because the men that leave them, they're probably gonna go to Milson. You know what I mean? And if they're not helping them become efficient leaders, they're hurting the Milson community by not recycling them appropriately. That's just my thoughts. You know, people really need to realize that we're simulating the military. It's not just for fun. It's not just for, well, I'm a colonel. You know, no, it's, it's meant to honor <laughs> these people, meant to honor you, meant to honor, you know, the two corporal, or the, the corporal of the army in my team, the, the sergeant in the army in my team, the lance corporal in the army in my team, the guy that's in the Air Force, the staff sergeant, you know, my uncle. Your family, my staff sergeant family, like it's meant to honor them. It's not about this win loss. People need to get their shit together and learn what it's about. I think Lurch said it like in this really beautiful paragraph, like a long time, like a year ago now, and it's kind of become a staple when people are being retarded. And he'll just post that little that little gem, and you know everyone just shuts up like damn. So. All right. Yeah, uh, a uh, question I always ask, I always wondered about, that sometimes you call uh, your men Spartans. I mean, my question is, why Spartans? Why not Vikings? I mean, Vikings were <laughs> badasses. Because 
Because Spartans are good all around, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't land see us landing on the shores unless we need to. I mean, we don't go out of our way to start problems with other teams <laughs> unless they start it with us first. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's kind of self-explanatory there, but... We, uh, you know, I mean, both are great warriors, but... With, uh... Commute with uh, people nowadays is that no one drinks from the skulls or their enemies. Very true. We need to bring back some Viking times in here. I'm not gonna disagree with this statement. <laughs> this is a good statement. <laughs> if, you, if you were running for president and that was your slogan, I would vote for you. It's like we will drink from the skulls or it, or of our enemies. Vote for 2020. <laughs> like it. It's like making anyway, America next. badass okay. again. Ugh, shit. Um, uh, so that's all the questions I had r written down. Just, um, I guess we can go ahead and cut it out here. I'm about as buzz as ever. Alright, sounds good to me. Alright, well, again, Captain, Warrant Officer, what the fuck? <laughs> I just now looked at the chat. <laughs> yeah, uh, like three or four questions. <laughs> uh, the chat, wait, people ask questions in the chat? Uh, no, mm -hmm. it's like just one oh. person. Who's been asking questions? What's your question? Jason, here? Freddy. Jason. Your question, Jason. Oh no, no, no! He's not really Daddy asking help a you question. Is he's like he's just saying, "Yo, five more. We'll dare call them out." I mean, why not the purge the community? Gamers cancer. Oh. What? I don't yeah, fucking know. Yeah, they said what's the relationship between five more and GIGN. Huh? Wait, did he just ask that? Uh, I mean, it's been in there for a while. I don't see that shit. I'm just seeing like four things he had, uh, he said. Yeah, see that shit again. Yeah, he is. What was the relationship between Five Mar and GIGN? What was the what was the relationship between Five Mar and GIGN? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they were a part of a coalition we actually fell into. They invited us to it. Um, so at the time we supported them in the war against Samar, gave them some combat support, fucked some shit up. Mainly because I saw one of Far and 17th get on deck, and I was like a bet ski. Played the Spartans in, stacked them by 600 kills. It was it was a glorious night in Valhalla. If I ever die, I want to have a Viking funeral. If I ever die, I just want to kill myself. <laughs> that's a fucking way to put that. I guess that's a way to put things in perspective or something. Mr. Uh, Mexic 287065, aka uh, <clears throat> Lesser Bird. What's Five of Mars' thoughts on Field Team? Field Team's a good team. They're an older team, they've been around for a while. I think that. Without Craig and without Cold, that they're withering. Like whatever the fuck Craig and Cold did to fuck that team up and make everyone leave, they dropped the ball. Like there, there's better ways they could have went about it because they completely destroyed that team and killed it when they did that. Uh, Anarchy, I've known him for a while. I've ha I have hopes for him. I'm not a hundred percent. So, I think they're a good team. I think they got a lot to bounce back from. They got a lot of shit going for them. Alright, well, I'm gonna take off here. Go probably watch a movie or something. Whatever but whatever Anarchy's doing, he better keep on doing it because I am enjoying it. I am enjoying the results. Okay, yeah, true. Alright, well, again, gents, well, thank you for taking time to join us on the stream. And of course. We, hope to look, we look forward to having you guys on soon. Alrighty, my guy.